So the question becomes, where are all of the scenes managed, right now level 4 and level 5, so that the game knows where and when to transition between one level to the next? So in Unity, that is all taken care of in a place called the Scene Manager. So what we're going to do is add the scenes that we have into our actual game's lineup of how and what it loads in what order. So to do that, we're going to go into File, Build Settings. And in here, we get a whole lot of settings that we can set between what platform we're building for, so it can be kind of a standalone game that is compatible with either PC, Mac, or Linux. It can be a universal Windows build. If you want to put it in the Windows Store, you can put it in there. Android, you can even have it so that it can be published to the internet on a web page using WebGL, Xbox One, iOS, PS4. We have tons of options, which is super cool, which means that if you have a friend that has an Xbox One and you want to play with them, you can publish this game to the Xbox One and then play it. You'd be able to release it online and uh, put it to the community build store. So we're going to keep for right now in the uh, PC, Mac, and Linux standalone just because it's kind of the default view. And we're going to see right in here the scenes in build. So what build means is when you are done with your game and you want to turn it into just one executable game, something that someone can easily install and then play, you would build that game, build all of your scenes together and compile them into your one finished game. So currently the scenes in that build are nothing. There are no scenes in that build. So we're just going to quickly um, add them by adding open scenes. Doot. So we have level four. We already know we want that one. And we can drag in the other scenes that we want by simply clicking, in this case, level five, right there. And then if I want to, I can switch the orders in which these are loaded in as well. So at the moment we know we want level 4 to load before level 5. But as we add levels we have to continuously remember to put them inside our scene manager, inside the scenes to build, otherwise we're going to end up having problems where that level will just never be accessible to our game. We'll never be able to load a level or a scene from, uh, from another scene. So right now we only have two levels, so that's easy enough. Level four and level five, they're both in there. And that's all we gotta do. Exit and should be good. That's how you add scenes into your game.